Hi, I wanted to give you a little tour of Google Docs. So I'm at google.com. I'm going to click on the More link and go down here to Documents. And now each time you come to Google Docs, you'll have to sign in using your Gmail account. So this would be your K number and your password. And we're going to sign in. So now this opens up your Google Docs page. So these are all the documents that you have created, you have uploaded, and that possibly you have had shared with you. So let's look at how we can get documents into our Google Docs account. There's a button over here to create a document. You can also create presentations, spreadsheets, forms, drawing, I'm not sure what collection is. But let's create a document. So this is a new document. It looks a lot like Microsoft Word. You can type, you can highlight, change text, um, all the kind of basic formatting things that you can do in Microsoft Word. And then you can also save it. And Google Docs does save your work every um, few, few minutes. Let's add a new title here. We can also over here share this document with somebody else. So we can share it with, I'm going to share it with my other email account. But you could share this with your professor, with other students in your class. And then let's close this one. And now you can see in my main Google Docs page, now it has this test document I just created. But Google Docs also lets you upload files you might have on a flash drive or on your computer. So let's see if I can put in library instruction survey, I guess. Double click or click on something, click open. I'm going to start the upload. And so now this is saved in my Google Docs. And what's really nice about this is that I can access it anywhere that I am. Um, you can get access to it. It saves it. Um, not going to break unless Google Docs um, goes away, just like flash drives can sometimes break. So here's this article. And so this is a living document. If somebody makes changes to it or you make changes to it, those changes are put into the document. An extra copy isn't created as sometimes happens in Word. So that is Google Docs. Any questions, you can, I'm sure, contact your professor or come into the library and ask to talk with Kelly. Thanks.